Salatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin Salatu wassalamu fi kitabihi risalatu adabi sulukil muri Anafana Allahu bihi wa bi ulumihi fi darain amin The loser in all respect is the seeker of the transitory life Tazawajuha fahijratuhu ila ma hajra ilayhi But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he mentioned that if a person does any the hijrah because any of the worldly gains then he will attain the worldly gains meaning he will not attain rewards any from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, if uh, a person uh, does any something not for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is important any for us any to check any our intention and before we embark any to perform uh, a particular any action and Allah on this path any to attain the pleasure any of of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ayo continue he upon whom be Allah's blessings and peace be on him thus informed us that the deed is only valid as the intention behind it. Now, all, everything and it depends any on the intention. Yani if you do a particular deed, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks any at the intention. If the intention any is sincere, then only any deed, that particular deed and will be accepted any by, will be accept, accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, Indeed, deeds are valid according to the intentions. When these are good, they shall receive nothing but good. When these are evil, they receive nothing but evil. Now, even if a person, for example, and he does something outwardly, it is good, but inwardly, it is not any for the sake any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then it is something any that is not accepted any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah knows any what is the kind of intention a person makes. If a person any has any, an evil any intention, then they will also any will not receive anything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what they will receive any at times is punishment now Bilamin Zadi. Ayo. He whose intention is good, his deed is inevitably good. And he whose intention is malicious, his deed is inevitably malicious. Now he everything and it depends any on on the intention. And before you embark uh, uh, an action is good. But if a person and he does any ibadah just for the sake of uh, to show off to other people, for example, to get the praise on your people, they have the intention of following in the footsteps of the messenger of Allah, in Allah's blessings and peace be on him. His reward is with Allah. Allah will be pleased with him and make his last abode his garden, near to him and in the company of the best of his people. Now, he mentioned, he, the, the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam informed us that he who acts for the sake of Allah and with the intention of following in the footsteps of the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yani a person uh, makes any the intention to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to obey the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to emulate the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, with ikhlas, then his reward any is with Allah. And this is any the toy, any embarking any on anything. We have any to rectify any this intention, that we dedicate everything for the sake any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati. Lillahi Rabbil Alameen Yani my ibadah, my uh, my life, my death, my prayers Lillahi Rabbil Alameen Everything any I is for For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So Islam any taught us that everything any that are Created any from non-existence And they do not possess any any ability within themselves To give you any 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 benefit Or to protect you from any harm Everything any comes any from Comes any from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That is why it is important any for us to ponder upon this meaning and how we need to build this connection with our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are able to build any disconnection any with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then inshallah any we will attain rewards any from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Anta boleh bilang bahira, ambil dia boleh phone. Dan apa, suruh dia masuk anak Facebook, macam watch party ke. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam chose to speak of migration, to give an example which can be applied similarly to the other deeds so that the people are aware of it. Those similar rules may generalize to all the laws of Islam. Now, uh, this is an important. Uh, this is uh, uh, Imam al-Haddad and he mentioned that the hadith any of innam al-a'malu bin niyat and it is a foundation in, in Islam that we can uh, look into all types any of deeds any that we are doing whether we are now may Allah any bless us any with tawfiq. So that is why and he said those similar rules may generalize to all the laws any of Islam. What are the rules here? These are the rules any of uh, the rules any of ikhlas, that the rules any of having the proper intention, uh, to have any intention for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it can be applied any to all of the laws any in Islam. Naam. 
Then I advise that, O oh dear student seeker, who wish to present himself before the Lord, you should know, indeed, that when you ask me for advice in relation to the path that you are seeking, I feel at this point there is nothing ready for presentation. However, I do feel that I should forward a few points, fasal, short and simple, on the manners and the way in which a student seeker threads the path to Allah. They are exalted with some brief, com- uncomplicated statements. Now, now Al-Imam Al-Haddad, and he mentioned the reason and he behind writing this particular kitab, to embark and to go on this uh, spiritual and path that we are able and to attain the pleasure and the closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be exalted with some brief, uncomplicated statements. By Allah, I ask that this may benefit me and you, those who ask, those who wish for it upon themselves, what were conveyed to me here, for me Allah is sufficient and He is the best disposer of affairs. So now any we have uh, completed any the completed any the muqaddimah. He ended any the muqaddimah by making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He pray any that these advisors any we be, may be of benefit for us and those any who conveyed any to, to the others. And He said, For me Allah is sufficient. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has be Allah. Wa ni'mal wakil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala suffices us and Allah yani, is the best any of of helpers. So we have completed any the, the muqaddimah. So now we have entered any into the matan any of the kitab. So we have we are going any into chapter one. Chapter one any in this book. Inshallah ta'ala next week we will read any from we will read any from chapter one. So all this while any we are just speaking any about speaking any about the muqaddimah. So inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us inshallah any with tawfiq and bless us any with understanding. And this book any is important any muqaddimah uh, this uh, adab sulukil uh, mubi it is important uh, for us any to learn and to study and what is more important any on how any we are able any to put it into practice. Now this is any our challenge any today. So inshallah any now we enter into the